Christian Belanger. And uh, Christian, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do? Well, I, um, I like to do a lot of stuff, but um, I'm, I'm mainly a graphic design teacher at Cégep Marie-Victorin. Uh, but right now I'm in parental leave. Uh, I got 11-month-old uh, 11, 11 twins, and I decided to take a, a long break, in which I want to focus, actually, on my calligraphy. So that's what I uh, am doing uh, in terms of artistic endeavors right now, is really focus and uh, push my calligraphy skills as much as I can. Um, I, I really want to do as much as I can during my, my long break. And so far, so good. I, I mean, I'm here at A Tai Pi doing a demo. It sounds good to me. Yeah, so, um, so you're going to be doing a demonstration today. What do you hope people get out of seeing you work? Um, that, you know, I, I guess calligraphy is still alive. Um, you know, one of the reasons why I do calligraphy is because I just think that so many things and too many things are done on the computer all the time. And, uh, you know, being a graphic designer for a long time and being a teacher in graphic design, I just feel like computers are taking way too much space. And when I started calligraphy it was actually to get away from that and go back to a handmade type of uh, artistic um, thing. So, so yeah, maybe, you know, hey, people, creating by hand is still there. Um, calligraphy is still alive. And um, uh, I don't know, to, to be honest, I just like doing it. And when they told me to do it, I was like, cool, let's do it. Like, you know, because I practice calligraphy alone in my room so many times. And sometimes I'm kind of like, why am I doing this for? People need to see it. And this is a good way to see it. Hey, I'm a tight freak, all right? And I've always been. In the right place. I'm in the right place. I feel surrounded by geeks just like me, and it's, it's really fun, to be honest. And so, how do you bring that into your teaching? Do you bring calligraphy? Um, well, that's a really good question. I really stress in my classes how important it is to. Um, you know, get out of the comfort zone of being in front of the computer all day and to actually go uh, in, in, in uh, libraries and consult physical books and to, uh, you know, make photocopies and to uh, sketch with a pencil, you know. So I, I really, really, really emphasize a lot on, um, you know, handmade creation. And um, it's funny, you, you ask me if um, I do calligraphy with my students. Uh, two years ago, a group of students, they, they, a group of students formed, they called themselves the Handmade or Die Creative Collective, actually. And um, they asked me to give them some um, uh, calligraphy courses for free. <laughs> So, you know, um, I accepted. Uh, being a teacher is really a hard job because you work all day and all night and weekends included. And that's probably, probably one of the last things I wanted to do. But, you know, calligraphy is so fun. And, you know, uh, being with people that enjoy learning and that are really passionate, you can't refuse that. So really for uh, a month, every Friday from 4 to 6, I was doing calligraphy with this select group of students that asked me for that, and it was really, really fun. And those guys, they pursued, and now they're doing some murals and uh, all sorts of different stuff. So that, that's really, really positive. Yeah, it sounds like you made a great impression on them. Yeah, I, I think I, I have, yeah. with all humility. <laughs> so um, speaking of, of surrounding yourself with people that are passionate about uh, type, um, how is this experience being your first day type I? Um, well, how it came about, actually, I, uh, as a teacher in, in, um, in graphic design, I am asked often for um, people to do lectures at my school, all right? So um, I've asked um, the guys from Coppers and Brasses to do a lecture at my school. And the, from there, we connected. And they are, those guys are part of the organiza uh, organization of, um, of this year's ATI Pi. And so they asked me to do a lecture in, in June. Uh, that was a typography night in which I did a little lecture of what I'm doing. And then over there, I met some other people. And then, you know, uh, would you like to do a demo? And wow, OK, my dreams are coming true. So for me, it's super exciting. Um, you know, I got to 
meet, that's, that's where I was getting at. Like I got to meet some people I've never met before, just heard of. Um, I got to see Paul La yesterday in a lecture and like I got goosebumps just thinking about it. You know, it's, I teach her work to my students and I get to see her in person. Um, I always laugh at people when they see actors and they, they go crazy. I, I, I always feel like they're just normal people, just calm down. But yesterday I was in, in the break area and Paula was in front of me and I was really like trying not to go get an autograph. So it's really, it, for me, it's like it's a really fun experience. It's really stressful because there's so many big names here. Like I took a workshop with John Downer and, you know, like it's, it's really, um, what's the word, um, uh, humbling. And I, I, I do want to impress because I'm that surrounded. Might, that might be kind of hard. Uh, I know, no, but <laughs> I know I can't, nobody can impress this guy. But I mean, just in general, in my demos, I don't want to, look silly and because there's so many big top-notch people and they selected me to do a demo and I'm like what am I doing here really? Well the good news is everybody <laughs> here is really friendly and open yeah. and, um, and that's what we keep hearing. Um, so I have one final question yes. for you. Yes. If you could go for dinner with any type people, living or dead, oh. who would it be? Oh wow. It could be a couple too. Oh man. Um, Herb Blubelin. Yeah, her blue balloon. Again, like that. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, Herman's aft. Yeah. Um, they have some great stories. I mean, and, and, and because their work is calligraphy based, lettering, fonts, like everything that uh, I love, um, those guys embody that, and they're the precursors and. Yeah. Yeah, I that mean, that, that would be quite, quite cool. I'm sure there's a lot more people, but you know, yeah. you ask for one, maybe two, those are okay. the two that yeah, came to mind. All right, thank you, Christian.